hey guys welcome back to my channel so apparently we've been doing things the wrong way we've been saying good morning to people and good morning is now racist it's not something we're supposed to be doing one girl has come to teach the world what to not do let's check out guys my guy so let's talk about where the word good morning originated from good morning all right, so during slavery times, when the women used to mourn about their child being taken away and sold to a different slave master, or if one of the family members did something that resulted into them getting whipped or killed, most of these things used to happen in the evening time when a child was sold off or somebody was getting whipped for something. The black women used to cry all night behind it. Not even just the women, the black people in general, all the black slaves male or female when something happened to a family member or a close friend or anything they used to cry all night behind it and when the slaves used to cry about what happened all night long the white slave master the oppressors will wake up in the morning time and they'll tell the slaves did you have a good morning basically did you have a good cry out did you do enough crying last night because of what happened to their family member a day prior so the white oppressors came up with good morning as a mockery towards black people during the slavery times when they used to cry and mourn and grieve over what happened to somebody when they was whipped or killed or taken off to another plantation. So it was their way to make fun of the black slaves crying that night prior. So they would ask them, did you have a good morning? Did you have a good cry? And they will laugh about it. So that was their way of being funny towards the black slaves when they would cry all night about somebody that was hung, somebody that was killed. That was their way to make fun of them. Y'all know what mourning mean. All they did was take the U off of it. So nobody would think about what it really originated from. It was really a mockery towards black slaves and them making fun of what they did to their people when someone was hung, killed, or sold off to a different plantation. So that was their way of being funny. Did you have a good morning? Did you have a good cry about that person's death? Did you have a good cry about your daughter being taken away from you and sold off somewhere else? Did you have a good cry of your brother being hung yesterday? That was their way of being funny. Good morning, everyone. Aww. What oh what in the world is this? What has happened? Oh my god. Do you know the most disheartening thing? You guys need to see the comment. See this one said someone told me this because he always said grand rising and I asked him why so. Hear it. Ah if you see people people actually are green. Ah this one this is what happens when you send your child to school and they refuse to learn. This one did not attend English lesson. Obviously. He has forgotten that there are so many words with different names, different spellings that pronounce or sounds the same way. Ah. Somebody is thinking she's doing satire. I don't think so. You know what I'm, I've been saying, guys? See, the devil is no longer hiding. He has edges. Because there are some foolish people that don't have sense that agree with what she's saying and they will now go on spreading it this is not satire because see now it's not satire see somebody somebody responded somebody said morning and morning are two different words pretty sure when people say good morning they mean morning and not morning like and she now responded said it, it is what it is the truth hurts and it's forever facts over feelings can you imagine and she's even saying confidently. She even responded with a video. Let me open the video and see what she said here. My guy. All right, so somebody said it's not the origin, but slave owners did in fact say good morning as wordplay. All right, so a lot of people acting like I don't know the difference between morning and morning. I know that they're two different words, but y'all are not listening to what I'm saying. You have this morning and you have this morning. But what I'm trying to tell y'all is the phrase good morning came from a dark past. 
See, I'm not telling y'all that the word morning didn't exist way before. The word morning always existed for centuries. I'm telling y'all that the phrase good morning, the origin of where that phrase came from, came from our oppressors mocking the slaves. See, on the internet, it likes to tell you that John Smiley created the phrase good morning. See, they want to tell y'all that John Smiley created the phrase good morning in 1952 to make his staff feel valued when they came in for work. But it's a lie. The phrase good morning was being used way before 1952. See, there's some older black folks out here that's in their 90s and in their 100s. They'll tell you what their ancestors taught them from what their grandparents taught them. There's some older black folks out here that'll tell you this exact story that's been taught to them and from their family members for generations and generations. They'll tell you that some of their parents told them that back then in slavery times, when the white folks used to hang black people or sell off their children, that the next morning when they will wake up from what happened to a family member after mourning and crying and griefing over what happened to them, that the white folks will mock them and say, did y'all have a good morning? Meaning, did y'all have a good cry about y'all family member or friend that died last night? Like trying to mock them about what happened. Did y'all have a good morning? Did y'all have a good cry? See, because the phrase good morning was being used way before the 1950s. Except it was being used for a different reason. Then John Smiley came out and started using good morning as a way to greet people for the day. See, the problem is these people know exactly what they're doing. It's crazy how in the Bible, God said he created the lesser light to rule the night and the brighter light to rule the day. So y'all tell people good night, but y'all don't say good day instead of good morning. Like make it make sense. What's so good about morning? See, the problem is y'all don't want to learn. Y'all talking about you're hearing that from your grandmother? Who was told by her grandparents? But y'all the same ones still telling stories about y'all grandparents. How we know those real? How we know the history these white folks telling us real? Like, let's be honest. Everything he say, she say. Everything on the internet made from the white man. They gonna tell y'all his story. What about our story? What about our people's story? Does it not matter? Nah, cause we just gonna go off what the white people say. Okay. Well, y'all gonna go off with what they say. But me, I'm willing to learn. And I'm willing to tell other people. And y'all ain't gonna stop nothing. Because in reality, y'all sleep. You won't... I'm gonna tell y'all why y'all sleep. Because y'all don't even know that most of the wordplay that y'all use is actually cursing y'all selves. See, the problem is that the elites know the truth. And they use it against us. Like how you spell out a word. Spelling. So let's talk about it. All right, so pay close attention to what I'm about to say. So when you wake up, they say, good morning. So when you're awake, they say, good morning. Now listen to this. Now what do they call this when you go to like funeral viewings? They call this an awake. And you see what they doing? They're mourning at an awake. They're griefing, they're crying, they're mourning at an awake. The same awake that they use to tell y'all good morning. So when you awake to see another day, they tell y'all good morning. And also, when you have an awake for someone's funeral or their viewing, you're having a morning. You're having a good morning. You're mourning over the death. So when you're at someone's funeral or viewing at their awake, you're also having a good morning towards them. You're having a good cry trying to let it out. Words are spells. It's the same thing with die and die. All they doing is using wordplay on us. Y'all don't even know that y'all casting spells upon yourselves. See, die means to be dead. And then you also got hair dye. And have y'all ever noticed once y'all put hair dye on y'all head, that y'all hair actually start to die out? You start getting breakage and everything. Now you got dead hair. Come on, I'm gonna need y'all to catch up. Because I don't think y'all hearing me. So y'all putting hair dye on y'all head and y'all hair really dying. See, because what y'all not realizing is words are free, but it's the way that you use them 
that might cost you. See, our brain studies sounds and frequency, and it's a big thing, and y'all don't pay attention to it. The science of somatics, which is the study of which is the study of sound wave and vibration, means people will subconsciously feel negativity when using certain terms of words that have a different meaning but sound the exact same. See, because the brain cares more about the sound of the word rather than the spelling of the word. Sound and music actually changes our brain waves. This all traces back to how we feel when we hear certain genre of music or certain words or certain noises. So y'all don't even know when y'all trying to tell people to have a good morning, y'all really wishing them to have a sad day. The mind will subconsciously think of mourning, grief, sorrow. See, the problem is y'all need to wake up and renew y'all's minds. Y'all don't even realize that saying good morning is cursing yourself. See, the problem is y'all don't know that. But the people that came up with these words, best to believe they know that. And they want y'all to stay asleep. See, they want y'all to laugh at me. And I'm cool with it. Because y'all ain't gonna stop nothing. They want y'all to see me as a joke. See, because the guy who even made education, he even said he don't want people to be thinkers for themselves. He wants y'all to be workers. So that should tell y'all about the school system already. They don't want y'all to be thinkers. They don't want y'all finding out the truth. They want y'all to be workers. Do what they say. Learn what they want y'all to know. Believe what they want y'all to believe. They don't want y'all finding nothing out. They want to keep people lost. They want y'all to think how they want y'all to think. Y'all mad at the stuff that our great-great-grandparents be teaching us and trying to automatically tell me that they lies. But y'all got stories about y'all great-great-great-great-grandparents doing all this extra stuff that y'all's parents probably told y'all. And I bet y'all y'all believe all of it. But when it's coming from a black person trying to teach what they great-grandparents taught them, then it's a problem. But when it's y'all white folks being taught what y'all great-great-grandparents did back in the day, fought in all these wars and do 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 then it's okay for y'all to believe that. Ain't nothing wrong with it. But as soon as I say something, y'all mad. See, and the problem is, y'all gonna have to stay mad. Because I'm gonna stay telling it all. Words are spells. And especially in the English language. And good morning is one of them. Just like I told y'all, they didn't tell y'all where the origin of master bedroom came from. That ain't in history books. Just like the phrase master bedroom when you get a home, that came from the slave masters. They got that phrase literally from slavery. The master's bedroom. Because they always had the biggest room with the best appliances. And that's why it's been called master's bedroom for all this time. That phrase even came from slavery. And they still saying that shit till this day. So like I said, the words morning and morning and die and die, all those words that sound the same but got different meanings, that's a subconscious trap. That's wordplay to play with your head. Just like when someone say, damn you. You know, the actual damn means to block off something. Like they use a dam to block off water. They trying to block off your energy when they tell you, damn you. Certain wordplay is spells on the brain. Y'all better realize that the tongue is powerful. Just like when y'all be laughing and y'all be like, I'm dead, I'm dead. Why are you saying that you dead? You speaking stuff upon you and don't even know it. See, in the Bible, God tells you that the word was with God and the word was God. God says he give us the spirit of power, love, and a sound mind. The mind means more than y'all ever will know. And I'm hoping one day y'all gonna realize that. She's even using the Bible to support her claim. And the sickening thing is the people in the comment, you guys need to see the comment section. They even agree say, oh, thank you for teaching me this. Thank you, your content is, ah! ah she even keep, she like, did she even have another video? Watch, you guys. My guy. Alright, so I woke up to a lot of comments today asking, where did you get this knowledge from? I woke up to people doing duets to my video, talking about etymology, and a whole lot of other stuff. I got a lot of people mad in the comments, and I got a lot of people happy in the comments. 
really don't matter to me. I'm not here to please nobody. You know, a lot of people that say that they woke, I noticed that a lot of y'all know that they start saying grand rising. A lot of y'all be like, where you get this research from? This is the type of knowledge that you can't find in history books. Some knowledge that I speak about you will not find on Google. Like, let's be for real. History is his story. You really think the white man gonna put that in the books? It's always been good morning. Then they came out with the other word morning. See, a lot of people that know this knowledge that I told y'all on this video, they was taught from their grandparents. Because this is knowledge that grandparents will teach you that was taught to them from their grandparents, that was taught to them from their grandparents for generations and generations. And now they just taught you. This is not stuff that you gonna find in history books. I'm just telling y'all knowledge that was taught to me. Not everybody from the black community is gonna know this. Because everybody lost their knowledge. A lot of people wasn't taught. They family didn't teach them. And I'm sorry for those of you who wasn't taught. But don't be trying to come to me and try to knock down what I say because of what was taught to me. So a lot of y'all can stay mad and keep trying to sound so educational, talking about etymology and all this other stuff. Okay, do you. <laughs> do you. But that ain't gonna change what I was taught and what my ancestors taught. Have you ever heard a black person say when somebody tell them good morning, you will hear some of them say, what's so good about morning? Those is people who know the truth, who was either taught by their grandparents or by somebody else's grandparents who knew the truth and who was taught down the line. These are the things that they don't want to be taught or brought up. But what's done in the dark will always come to the light. There are so many modern day rituals that originated from our ancestors' pain and suffering while in captivity. And it's okay, because a lot of y'all don't know the truth, so all y'all do is laugh and put, Oh my gosh, is she serious? I'm serious. I'm dead serious. Everything I talk about, I'm dead serious. I'm not coming on here to giggle and laugh with you. Because to me, it ain't a laughing matter. Because at the end of the day, there's going to be people that laugh. And there's going to be people that take in the truth. It's really up to you at the end of the day. You can't help everybody. Etymology. The study and the origin of words in which their meanings have changed throughout history. Exactly. Changed throughout history. It was morning, then they made mourning. But the whole phrase, good morning, was a mockery towards the slaves. Whether if you want to believe it or not, I'm sorry your people didn't teach you. I'm sorry that your people lost their knowledge. All I'm doing is trying to help. And one thing I realized is you can't help everybody. And that's just the way of life. And I just think it's weird how most people that do duets on me, it's always from a person who was a fan. Then they get mad because you don't want to follow them back. And so they try to use your videos to gain views. And I mean, by all means necessary, do what you got to do. But you ain't stopping nothing this way. For example, when you get a house, what do they tell you? Oh, this the master bedroom. The, the what now? You, you talking about the slave master bedroom? Okay. There's a lot of stuff y'all don't know about, but I bet you can't find that in the history books. That the reason why they called the master bedroom the master bedroom is because that came from the slave master's bedroom. They always had the biggest bedroom with the best appliances and all. But you won't find that on Google. It's the same thing with that. Like I said, a lot of modern day words came from the pain and sufferings of our people from slavery. So what did I always say in 2020? The truth hurts and it's forever facts over feelings. Hey, it's up. Even when she's speaking, someone that cannot even put constructive English is now teaching history. Like, I don't even understand. They were, they were taught. I, I never used to understand some English from people, in, especially from a black America, it's just they were taught. Like, I, I remember times some of my me and my sisters or times we are watching some like American movie like we have some English like some reality TV TV shows we have some English and I'm asking uh huh what did you just hear like I don't understand and the fact that people are even agree with what she's saying even uh, applauding her thanking her for coming to teach them what they did not know ah people want to be victim for so like they want to be victim so hard that they are willing to do anything they are willing to ah oh, yeah 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 yeah. Ah, so when when German say good day Morgan, them to the that part of it, Abby. 
Like, please, somebody should help me make this make sense. Like, I don't understand his serious his story. Oh my god. Ah. <laughs> hey, this one, like, it's pain, it's, you know, it's pain in me look, looking at the comment section. There are a lot of people that don't want to even think for themselves in this world. So whatever, any gullible person that just come up to tell them, they will take it at face value. They don't even care. Ah. Hey, things are happening now. This is why I don't even like coming to TikTok, to be frank. I saw this on IG, I not chase it back to TikTok. I don't like being on TikTok. You've seen annoying things. Things that, I don't like spoiling my day. So I'll just, I love anything I know that, that will not make sense to me, that will, that will spoil my day. I like to stay away from it. That's how I am. So TikTok is the only I just stay away from. These are, no, this is, these are treasures. But what do you guys think about, do you think there's any, any truth to what you say? So you, Maybe our slave masters are the ones that started this. So maybe someone will help us and please help me make it make sense, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye, guys.